Well, good day, Tubes. How's she hanging? What a hot, crappy, humid day this was. Oh, oh, holy crap. I think they're saying here this week is going to be the hottest summer, hottest week of the summer. Get that right. Holy smokes. It was just wow today. I've felt some heat before and humidity, but this was just ridiculous. I don't know what the heck was going on today, but I bet you. There's going to be some storms brooming, brooming from this one. Brooming. Okay, look what I'm getting out. Look what I'm getting out. We're going back to design phase, boys. You guys remember we used to do this? Ooh, this is going to be exciting. We're going to design something here. Awesome. Okay, so what we're going to try to do here is make um, another bucket. Probably for the Mini X, I'm thinking. Uh, I could make it for tobacco, but I don't really need a, we'll say a bucket for digging. This is a bucket for sifting. Sifting, you know, sifting. You put something in it and you shake it and it, all the dirt falls out and the rocks stay in. Sifting bucket, so I don't need anything massive, huge, big. I'm thinking 24 inch wide though. Now, I got a little tape measure here. How wide is this crystal board? It's 22. 22 by 28. So, I have some tape. That's what the tape's for. We're going to make a cardboard template. And what I want to do is, uh, yeah, like this is 20, 22. So I'm going to go 24, 24 wide. That'll give us, well, that's, that's pretty good for sifting, I think. I don't think I want to put too much bigger than that um, because uh, it might be too much. The thing, it's it's a great little machine, but it doesn't really have much, you know, like movement to really sift well. So I won't be able to put a whole lot in it when I do it each time anyways. But I basically need it once for this garden and uh, probably I'll never have to use it or need it again. You never know. But we're just going to do, I uh, should probably just use a sheet of paper, but I don't really have a sheet of paper with me. Just got this stuff. So I'll do maybe in this bottom corner here. See how well my drawing is. What I want to do is uh, a fairly long bucket. And the bottom plate is going to be that, um, let's draw that over here. The bottom, well, hang on a sec. We'll draw looking straight down at the bucket first. So it's going to be, uh, let's see here. I really sucked at drawing. Oh, oh, maybe I won't be drawing today. I really sucked at drawing in school. I don't have a steady enough hand. So we'll say, we're going to actually make this out of the paper here. So we'll say this is uh, the front cutting edge. It's going to be, uh, it's not meant for digging. It's just kind of meant for going through loose soil scooping it up and then just sifting it out and then pff, the stuff into a trailer or something so this will be our like we're gonna put a cutting edge on it the UPS guy just showed up with my other part so that's good so cutting edge and uh, so this would be the machine would be back behind here no sorry the machine would be here my bad I'm thinking backwards um, okay so there's gonna be a little bit of an arc. This probably isn't going to be drawn right here. And this would be like, like the top. And this is where your ear things will fit on. Okay, so this actually goes kind of right under the, you know, the curl, right? Where your things fit on. Boy, I suck at drawing. <laughs> My pen's going to explode. So under here... It's going to be all this expanded mesh. Stuff, we'll say, like that. You get the idea. I say I suck at drawing. I got everything, I think, for this except the expanded mesh. So that's going to be all expanded mesh all underneath the side ink the sides will be solid and uh, like solid sides so that'll give me 
some strength. This will be all uh, expanded mesh to like the curl up. Okay, so that's looking very top. So let's draw. Let's draw the side view here. We'll say so. Go the same distance. And that would come kind of up like this, maybe, and around, and up like that, maybe. This might get kind of more like that. Long bucket. Really long bucket. Back here would be our our little guys, and then this would be you know solid side because you're going to need a fair bit of strength. Like this isn't meant for digging. If I was going to make this as a digging bucket, to be like maybe like ending here kind of thing would kind of you know go. No, this is confusing me now, but this would kind of just go. Shh, down whatever there right so cut an edge that's good um, leave enough room to really draw a 3d version of it but that's kind of the plan as I get ink all over me because my pen is acting weird and leaving lots of blobs or something I don't know why anyways so what I'm trying to kind of go by here, let me see if I can find a picture. I'm going to run out of light here, I bet. It's finally cooled down enough here that I can actually get out and do this. Because it's just been crazy out here today. Okay, so... Let's see, I'm looking up Grave Bucket. Grave bucket. They're kind of weird looking. Uh, they're fairly long, but they're really short. But I might even... I don't want to make it too heavy either for this machine, because the longer you go out, the heavier it's going to be. But uh, let's see. This here is kind of like a grave bucket. I don't really understand why they'd use them like that. It's kind of weird. Um, this I might change and just go... straight down like that hold a little more in there I think I got to watch how much I put in because if it gets too wet it's not gonna filter through this thing too well but depending on what size of a uh, expanded mesh I get I presume they come in different sizes uh, it'll filter out smaller things so now this pretend that this is the side plate 28 inch that should hold a fair bit of material that's like we'll say oops, say like that's the side plate the other one's here 24 inches wide and the bottom screen I think almost that sheet of paper would be probably lots shouldn't take me too long to get through that Better not cut up this quite yet, but let's see here. It's going to change a bit too for my radius on the back here because of the uh, whoop. Because of whatever. I think I'm going to use cheat and use that pipe again. I've heated this metal up before, but 24 inches wide. That's pretty wide. I think I'm going to use a hunk of pipe, cut plasma cut this the piece of pipe. So let's start with. It's kind of nice to have a something round to draw. Let's see if I can find something here. That might be a little big. Got all the old springs in it from the old trampoline. Um, okay, so we're gonna have to keep her tight to the bottom here, bud. That'll be our bottom. think straight up after that so 
I didn't bring a straight edge with me. Now I've got dirt all over my drawings. Let me find a straight edge, a piece of wood or something. I'll get it kind of close. Okay, now I think it doesn't really make a huge difference if I put um, too much arc on it. That way, that'll make it open up more, but I don't really need it to open up a whole lot. Let me think now. Oh, hang on. Someone left the air compressor plugged in. Probably me. Okay. <laughs> so if I leave her straight up, it's going to want to not open up as much, I believe. That's why we're doing templates here. So I'm going to put a little bit of arc to it. Not much though. Because I want it to kind of hold some dirt in here and then I can shake it and then it'll fall through and then all the junk will stay in, right? Now, I haven't really got a plan of how tall I want to make this. Well, let's draw. Let's draw the bottom here too. That you could change too if you wanted to. You could angle that down. That would let it open up more, or that would be tighter, and you you wouldn't get as much curl out of it. I found that out with the uh, the big backhoe bucket there when I redid it. He had it like kind of like kind of like this. So if you can see this line here, and uh, this actually curved over even more like this. So it was like it I couldn't open it up enough to get it. So what I did when the thing ended up breaking, I. Uh, Put in some triangular pieces here like this and brought the bottom plate down more now it opens up like really nice so but like i say i don't really need it to open up a whole lot so yeah we'll go somewhere there maybe come on pen don't give in now oh no it's dying on me No! Isn't that terrible? I've had this little pen for a long time now. It just croaked on me. Hey, hopefully the old Home Depot pencil won't let me down. Silly pen. Okay, so we want to go a little longer with this. Hopefully it's not too long. So that bottom plate will be... See, this is the cutting edge way down here. So we got the cutting edge down here, so we're going to be... Uh, bottom plate is probably to that arc there so where I wanted to go 22 23 I think I'm gonna go to the end of this page okay now I might do supports down to like this the extra piece um, now this would actually work. I don't know if it makes any difference this way, if you lose any power. I know lengthwise for sure. Lengthwise for sure you'll lose uh, curl strength, but like I say, this isn't for digging, right? This is not for digging. This is just for scooping ground that's really soft. So... What to say if I want top there and then down. Guess we'll go a little higher, maybe hold a little more. Okay. And then that should so you could go this way too and get Hold more, hold more, hold more. You're getting heavier, heavier, heavier. Bucket though, more load in there. A lot heavier. This is for the mini axe, right? So it's got to be somewhat not too heavy. <laughs> I think I'm going to get a longer stick of stumping here. There we go. Who uses the 2x4 for measuring, measuring sticks, eh? Holy smokes. I do. <laughs> so that'll go down to the cutting edge. Too bad. Kind of 
into there. And then like I say, I might run uh, might run a little bead of something down here too. to give a little extra strength and that I'm kind of copying this one here I mean I got it in my head anyways but go up there and I might even run a parallel piece right down the back here whoop coming off on me there bud something like that uh, okay, and this would be solid here, right? So we'll need two of these pieces cut out. And we will need two of those cut out. We'll need two, one bottom plate and the back plate. And uh, I don't know if I'm going to do what I'm going to do quite here yet. I'm going to have to put uh, some sort of, between this and the other piece, some sort of piece in there for the ears to mount to. And we've got to figure out the ears too, what we're going to do for them. Let me grab a pair of scissors, we'll cut this one out first though. Okay, one's done. We'll just trace this other one here. Whoop. Let's trace him around and cut this one out. Whoop. That's definitely something you don't want to hear the barber say. Whoop. <laughs> Whoop. Sorry. Cut your ear off. Does it hurt? Cut your ear off. Okay, so there's number two. Let's chop this one. Look, we use one whole sheet. Good planning, huh? Good planning, everybody. Okay, so there's our two sides. The one side, that's the other side. All right, so we gotta make something that's tall. This is gonna be interesting because I don't think, well, this was only 22 inch wide. That's maybe as long as it's gonna get. That might be all it's gonna get. Twenty-two probably be lots, I would think. Twenty-four would be nicer, but I think twenty-two is all she's gonna get there, boys. Let's see here. Let's get you back a bit more. Losing our light. So that one there. Okay, I might start taping this down here, and then uh, to make a uh, rear support and. Uh, working on the basically the bottom plate here now I can find the end of this stuff holy smokes where the heck did they hide that on me really there it is thunked it was there okay so we'll put her right tight I guess as tight as I can get her I can't believe my pen quit on me oh Tight as I can get her here. Get in the way, junk. Holy smokes. Need more room. Less junk. I don't know 
if this tape's going to hold or not, but... So this will be interesting. All of a sudden you'll see uh, something of a bucket coming to, get, coming to life. And of course when I cut the steel part, I'll have to measure it. I think I'm probably going to have to buy a whole sheet of the uh, expanded stuff though. It's just whatever, but... Okay. That's good there. A little off my back on this one, but this isn't going to be exactly to scale. It's not a blueprint. It's a rough idea for us. I know that one we did, we actually got it mounted right to the to the machine. Get on her, bud. Okay, so there's the one inside. Let's get this one on. That one's got to come out a little bit. Like I say, it's not going to be too, too exact scale. Just give us a rough idea of what we're looking at here. What my brain was stormaging. But we're running out of light, so we might not be able to get this all done today. Might have to do a part two, bud. Part two. Okay. Good. What on earth are we making here? I don't know. It's supposed to be a bucket. Will be. You guys know me. You know me from back in the bucket building days. You know what I'm capable of. In my crazy brain. Crazy overbuilt. But I've never had a problem with any of the buckets I've made, that's for sure. Okay. That's going to be pretty big. <laughs> I might have to shrink this down a little bit when I look at this now. Get out of here, Skeeter. Let's see, how are you guys looking? Pretty good. It's going to hold a fair bit of dirt in there, I think. It should, anywho. Put a little more tape on this back corner. Wait, Skeeter. I am not prepared for you yet. That'd be nice if the bucket would fold too. Holy smokes, this is gonna hold a lot of a lot of dirt in there. That's gonna be all expanded mesh in the bottom though, right? So you gotta think too. At the very back here, there's gonna be that pipe coming up. And then straight to the back there. So I guess I'll try to cut something here for a, a brace on the back. Okay. Let's put it this way. So brace, probably the same width as the bottom here, where I've got them at. So 20, 21 and the Three quarter, no, throw it measure again. I want it to be square, so I'll make it the same. Twenty one and three quarter wide brace. That's 
Gotta be, uh... Ten inches high. So basically need a square rectangular piece. Now I want to make it maybe a little longer so I can curl it over the top. Get on her there, bud. Just juice her. Just juice her. Kaboom! So we're gonna say that's gonna be another nine inches. 19 inches. Get on her there, bud. Holy smoke, that's almost this whole sheet. Almost the whole sheet. This road now? Oh, man. I don't know, honestly, how much longer I can live here. It's funny, though, when I speed up videos, it's really funny sounded. <laughs> Let me grab this 2x4. Yeah, instead of that, it's beep, beep, beep. It sounds really funny when he's speeding. That might not be perfectly squared. Okay, so pretty much this whole sheet. Enough left on this side. Ooh. Enough left on this side to make some little ears. So that's good. Now this is going to be tricky. Because that needs to get attached. Like about there. It bends over. Might have it a bit too long. Let's try to remeasure this. So we want to go from go from here so that's say three inch oh, it's hard to measure maybe I can do it this way so eight. 16 inches. I think I cut this at 19. Yeah, a bit long, I guess. So let's try that again. Sixteen inch, we'll try that. Paper's cheap, steel isn't. <laughs> by force straight although actually you know what I could I didn't really trim the back of this I could try I didn't trim I'm gonna maybe leave it this long for a minute here I did that wrong. Pretty sure I did. It might be all right. Never mind. <laughs> I knew I measured it, but I did it the wrong way. Um, okay, so I got to somehow. That guy to fit perfectly like this. And tape it down. Uh, okay. That'll maybe be uh, interestingly fun that figured out. I think if I taped it here, I'm trying to uh, trying to uh, we want to say uh, trying to get the same pipe angle here as that piece of pipe we're going to use for our curve.
easier said than done, my boys. Well. Let's see what I can do with this here. Um. Sort of got it. Should need some reinforcing though. It's a little bit tighter over here, so we'll do the best we can. And it's so wilty out here. This paper is probably not going to hold up for too long. But we'll get her built here and then see if we like it. I'm so used to building stuff that I'm supposed to use for digging, you know, hard digging. Where uh, this one is just going to be for the uh, light, fluffy previously tilled up stuff. With all the nasty rocks in it. Terrible rocks. Yeah, the moisture's probably gonna hit this and go Burr. But so all we need to do is get her together, see if we like the design of it. See how much I screwed it up here, maybe. <laughs> I did take drafting in school, but reason I don't think I was paying attention very much. <laughs> I think because it was the teacher I didn't really pay yet. pay too much attention to it. I wasn't getting along with the teacher too well. Teacher will sure have a big influence on how a, a student learns. A major impact. If the teacher, and they may not even realize they're doing it, shows, get on her butt, shows that they don't care, well, I guarantee you the student's gonna show that they don't care. Okay, so this has got to actually bend a little bit here. And then this will get some kind of bar, I think, across here too for some, some lateral support, we'll say. And then my ears will go back here. That's going to be a big bucket for that thing, but like I say, it's not meant for digging. It's probably not going to be strong enough for digging hard, so I'm going to have to probably run the cultivator or the... Uh, yeah, my cultivator through it. That's right. I was right. I got it right. And uh, tear it up real good, and then this will just kind of scoop real lightly and then sift, gone. Run the cultivator through again, stir up more crap, scoop, gone. All right, let's have a look at our bucket. Now this little flappy thing, I'm just gonna, I guess, support on the back here. It won't be there though, as a uh, flappy thing, we'll say. looking too bad though. See I haven't lost her yet. There we go. A bucket. So this is going to be uh, of course all the uh, gonna do these extravagantly huge.
you get this on and all the way down, right? And this will be our uh, whatever size woo cutting edge I can use or have down there. Cutting edge. Okay. And I could. I think I want this to be all solid back here, but I could cut a spot out of here and put more screen in there, but I might even do that too after. Like this is going to be a piece of pipe to, uh, hard to mark that. Pipe all welded to them. This needs to be somewhat solid all the way up here, so it's a strong frame. And then this is your screening stuff here, right? We're going to use that, like I say, that expanded mesh. So, what do you guys think? That's going to be a big, <laughs> a big bucket for the thing. But it's not meant for digging, remember? It's just meant for screening. So light stuff, scoop in there, shake, 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 and then dump that into the trailer after kind of thing. We'll get a trailer real close, whatever, and, and do that. So. Boy, that looks pretty good. Let's get you back a little more. There, so now you got an idea of kind of how it's going to look. And this is going to curve over a little more. It's just kind of flexing weird because of the, you know. I could put a support, I guess, right down the middle here too. Uh, like I say, it's not for digging, so I don't think we're going to need that. But, uh, God, I love making these things. That's fun. <laughs> now, ear-wise, Ear wise, what am I going to do there? I know they kind of come up sort of this way. What I'm going to need to do is uh... oh, that didn't sound good. Boom, 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 boom. Um, what I'm going to need to do is. Draw something of this same profile. Now, I just sort of forgot how I did these before. Uh, profile so I actually have to do get on her but just juice her bud holy crap this ain't a freaking racetrack if you want to go race and go down to the freaking drag strip <laughs> I love the boom after right boom holy smoke it's getting dark out here too so anyways uh I can imagine that that will be where it's gonna get welded onto here so this actually has to uh This needs to come out and then kind of something like that. Might end up changing these around a bit. Uh, let's just see what happens if we cut this out here. Okay, this is the thing, this is the ear that you gotta put your holes in. I think it's a one inch hole on that little mini X. profile healer it's going to be really important. Once I get the bucket actually mostly where it is now in metal, I'm going to have to uh, stick it on the side and redraw these, but this will give us an idea. Oh, it's getting dark out here. Holy smokes. Give us a little idea where we got to go. this is all going to be different shapes here too right so that'll give us a rough idea let's cut out another one of these i think i've got another piece here i could probably sneak one out of ah oh. yep just just 
pencil. Pencil. Even the cicadas are chirping. They know it's hot out here. It's freaking terrible. Thank goodness for central air conditioning. I love it in the house. I couldn't live without it now, I don't think. <laughs> Not a big fat slob guy like me. Okay. Yeah, like I say, these will likely end up changing. We'll have to uh, redesign these things, but just to give us an idea of what we're looking at there. Go away, you. Okay, I gotta finish this up. We're almost done here anyways. Let's see how exactly matching there. Too bad. And uh, I don't really have anything to drill a uh, one-inch hole in these, but... Um, inch hole and I think it's four inches apart. So we need to find what the freaking crap guys holy crap why on earth would you want your car to sound like that who wants a car that sounds like a freaking trumpet or a trombone really holy crap I love my car to sound like it's farting every time I juice it 22 should be 11 center. Why on earth would you want a car that does that? Man, am I totally missing something? I don't know. These guys are nuts. Okay, so that's center. So what we need to do is roughly two inches this way. Two inches this way. And that should give us distance for the bucket. Should. Okay. Yeah, this is all totally misshapen here, but we will definitely need to um, redesign these when we actually get to this part. Stay on my lip. There was some kind of Asian car show thingy across the mall here tonight, and that's probably all. Our souls leaving now, like freaking ridiculous. Maybe I'm old. Why the freaking crap would you want something that sounds like that? Holy man, it just angers me because I gotta live by it like all freaking summer. I don't know. It doesn't make sense to me, but I suppose it does to them. So, this isn't looking terribly too bad. Not 100% probably to the final scale we'll get out of it. It'll give us a good idea. I don't think I'm gonna hook this up to the to the machine though, because this is it's gonna be too heavy to just fall apart. But there we go, there's our ears kinda on, so the machine will be the arm will be back here, I'll be on the course on the other side, scoop in. It's getting really dark out here, so we're gonna have to wrap up, I guess. There we go. What do you guys think? Look at that. We made a brand new bucket. It's going to be a bit of metal, but I'm pretty sure I got enough down there for it. And the bottom plate being that screen will be a lot nicer too. I won't need so much. But should... Should we leave this solid back here, do you think? Or should we have a window of screeny mesh stuff? I don't know. I don't know what to say on that. Uh... Might not be a bad idea, but I want it to be strong-ish, you know, because this is rocks and stuff we are digging here. 
I shouldn't say that, we're not digging them, we're loosely pulling them out and then sifting and then into the trailer. So, something like that would work. I think that would be all right. Now, the top part here, this is gonna be the pipe here and then the straight piece. And then I'm gonna have to probably use another piece of pipe or something on the top there, or just a piece of pipe. Uh, like, you know, like a piece of pipe. Just put that fella right in there, weld it on the back, weld it around the round inside here. And then uh, this part here would actually be the pipe uh, where these things bound to. I think I'll probably do it that way. It's just I couldn't, you know, kind of do it that way. So I do have a chunk of pipe in there, in the shed here. Uh, that might be a little bit too big, but I can always grab a chunk of something that wouldn't be too bad for that. So, all right, it's getting dark. Better head her out. That should be all right. I think it's going to be pretty big. So that's going to end up being, uh, well, inside is 22, I think it was. I always make it a little smaller, you know, around 22. And uh, we've got about 19 inches of screening area. And if I put in a four inch, well, four inch, let's see here, four inch, that would give us, yeah. Four inch would be to there. It's all estimates, of course. So that'd be uh, that'd be 20 inch screen area, 20 by, 20 by almost 22, I would say. So that's that's not bad. I could probably have to buy a whole sheet of that stuff, though. But I doubt they sell half sheets. But uh, well, we better wrap her up, I guess. I think that'll work. So whenever whenever it cools down a little bit, I mean, I still got garden in there. I guess we got time to build this thing. But uh, oh boy, that's going to be some work, cause you know got no real super power out here I have to get uh, both my gens going I guess I'm a cutter one to run the uh, air compressor which is fine I it's gonna be loud but that's fine I've got cords I can put them far enough away I think so yeah should be good but anyways that's it for today thanks again for watching this good little design and build here and uh, we'll get her into steel here soon and uh, this one I might even paint it too Maybe. Got to do that when it's warm out though, so we're going to have to get on this project fairly soon. Uh, but like I say, the UPS guy come, finally, again. He brought my uh, push rods. We won't open them today though, we'll open them whenever we... Uh... Steiner. Steiner, looking for sponsorships for parts. I'm always looking for sponsorships for parts. Uh, hint, Steiner. I think I've given you enough money, you could sponsor me some parts. But anyways, no, no, that's fine. Whatever. Uh, oh, there's the lights coming on. Yay! The other one should be following soon here. Then they'll come on bright. Um, yeah, so we won't open that until we uh, get the tractor videos going here and and uh, get putting those new push rods in. But anyway, so there we go. The other one's coming momentarily, I'm sure. Come on, light. Don't let me down. But anyways, I guess that's all we can do there today. I think that should work good. That should hold a fair bit in there. It might almost be might be actually too heavy. I'd rather have a little bit too much, if you know what I mean, and uh, just not have to fill it quite as much when I'm scooping. Um, go away, bug. But uh, yeah, you know, like I'm, I'll probably scoop it in here and then, there we go. Oh, 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 he's coming. And then we'll just shake, 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 and then it should lighten up really quick. So I think the machine should handle that pretty quick. Like I've picked up that freaking enormous log with that thing and it didn't flip it over, so. Should be good. Come on, light. There we go. Yeah, we're all lit up now. Sweet. But the mosquitoes come out now because the lights are on. So anyways, I'm going to clean up, head her home. Thanks again for watching. Here goes another one. It's juicer, bud. <sighs> I don't know, boys. These cars. Here he goes. Whatever. Whatever floats your boat, I suppose. But anyways, okay. Gotta go. Thanks again for watching. Catch you all later. And of course, you guys have a good day.